Sometimes I need a stud welded in a metal plate. In this case, it's for a piece of furniture. Um, and I don't have a mega bucks for a stud welding machine, and I don't want to take it somewhere. Um, so again, I'm just using this for a piece of furniture, and, and I will say don't use this for anything that's going to be life-threatening, or you know, you're not, you don't want to bet your life on this, or you know, get somebody injured or killed, but you know, for a piece of furniture, it works okay. Um, so I need a stud in there, and so what you start out with is you start out with a, a bolt like this, and you, as possibly, as squarely as possible, you cut the head off, hacksaw, grinder, whatever, that cut the head off. Uh, then you need a piece of metal, and you're going to drill a hole in the piece of metal, and I, I marked it here. Uh, you're going to need two sizes of drill bits, one size of drill bit that fits the bolt, it's the same size as the bolt, and the other one that's slightly bigger than the bolt. And so what you do is in the plate, you first of all you drill the, uh, the size that's for the stud, and then on the back side where you're going to weld, you use the bigger drill bit, and you drill about halfway through the plate. So that what you're going to do is you're going to end up with a groove around the bolt. You can see I drew it on here. I've already finished this, but uh, you're going to end up with a groove around here. So that's where you're going to weld is in that gap. Uh, okay, so how do you hold this stud on here squarely so it doesn't warp or come out of alignment or whatever? And the trick I found, and this is the most important part, is you uh, put your stud in there. You get a couple nuts like this. You have a metal plate with a hole in it. Fits down like this. I just use an ordinary C-clamp like that. Um, tighten it on there. Okay. And then all I have to do is put my ground clamp on here and weld in that area. And of course you can adjust it. You can twist this thing to adjust the height of this. So you want it just about flush in there. And then you'll weld in that groove, uh, grind it off flat, and you're done. And it produces this type of result. So again, it's a DIY stud without an uh, expensive stud machine. And you can do it with a stick welder, which is all I've got. You don't need a MIG welder, TIG welder, or anything like that. So anyway, hope you found it useful.